Hello students, I am Dr. Tanma Vishrash. I welcome you all in my channel. Today's topic of discussion one MCQ is front of is in front of you. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, write in the comment box. Don't worry, after some time you'll get the right answer with explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. So here a question is given that this carbonyl derivative reacted with first lithium aluminum hydride, second dilute acid. What is the product? So this is actually an easy question. So actually, you know, lithium aluminum hydride is a nucleophilic hydride supplying agent and reaction with hydride results in alcohol. This is a simple thing we learn, but there is a twist. Here, this molecule is not that much simple. In this case, there is a carbonyl C double bond O versus C double bond C, where this lithium aluminum hydride will react. Now, if you look at the structure of lithium aluminum hydride, this aluminum is sp3 hybridized and four hydrogens are attached in a tetrahedral fashion. And formal charge on aluminum is negative, lithium is outside. Sometimes people write in this way also, both are correct. Now, if you look at the electronegativity difference between aluminum and hydrogen, that's significant. So that's why you can expect that this aluminum hydrogen bond is a polar bond. Or you can say the negative charge density on hydrogen is more, this is more delta negative. So that's why this is actually, you can say, more nucleophilic. So this hydride is actually polar as well as nucleophilic. So where it will preferentially react? Obviously this carbon oxygen double bond. Why? Because due to electronegativity difference, you can expect that these carbon atom student is delta positive. This oxygen is delta negative. So obviously this nucleophile will attack here, it will open up. So first up step it will produce this. We know aldehyde upon reaction with hydride produces primary alcohol. So first is hydride attack and second is workup resulted in primary alcohol. Now in this case your question may be sir, why lithium aluminum hydride does not react with carbon carbon double bond? Because carbon-carbon double bond, this double bond is actually a non-polar double bond. So non-polar double bond or pi bond. So that's why this lithium aluminum hydride doesn't like to react. Okay. Now, second question. What happened if nickel hydrogen is used rather than lithium aluminum hydride? So nickel hydrogen, remember nickel and hydrogen electronegativity is not that much. And this is not that much polar. This is a covalent type I mean not ionic so it's not covalent type but it is a moderately reactive so what it can do it can reduce both it, it is capable to reduce both the carbonyl as well as double bond so in this case if you take nickel hydrogen or rani nickel instead of lithium aluminum hydride what it will result it will end up in so 2245 CH2OH so remember, the question could be reversed in, in terms of lithium aluminum hydride. It could be replaced by this nickel hydrogen. And remember, lithium aluminum hydride is an alkaline reagent. It is moisture sensitive. That's why it's used in dry ether. And after this reaction, acidic workup is needed to get the alcohol back. So this is the overall discussion. So what is the answer of this question? Obviously, only this aldehyde will be reduced. Double bond intact. Option A is the right answer. Aldehyde double bond cannot be reduced by lithium aluminum hydride, so it is gone. Complete reduction, not possible, gone, no reaction, that's also wrong, reaction will happen. So this is the answer. So this is the end of the discussion. I believe this video may be useful. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.